hello guys welcome back to another video uh, if i go to the product and view product here you can see i have uh, all the product right in this video i'm going to show you how admin can search uh, you know product and the product will show here so basically we are going to add or implement the you know search option in the admin panel okay so let's go and add it so this is the uh, sublime text my code editor and from here i'll go to the admin so inside resources then views we have the admin folder and here we have a main design and here we are going to add it so this is the form you can see and we have the button here right in our design and we have input field for the search so basically i'm going to actually copy it from here okay uh, from here so i'm going to cut it from here and i'm going to paste it here and here i'm going to add a d and let's cut this the uh, ending point and add it here press tab for little space and here i'm going to give it a class we may actually uh, remove this search option from here so this is the search panel i'm going to remove it that's it maybe we can just uh, copy the class okay that's it and then we will actually remove it okay all right so here let's uh, give it a class now let's refresh sorry uh, refresh uh, so the problem is here you can see there is no such a field so what can i do is i can actually uh, remove it from here i'll say style i'll say let's just give it a style i mean i will actually give it a uh, style letter okay but at first i need the field here you can see so this is the search field it's look like i mean it's looking awkward here so what okay guys the problem is uh, this is showing inside the dashboard actually i want to show it inside the product page right view product here okay so we have it here right okay no problem we have it here but actually i don't want to show it in every single page so what i'm going to do i'm going to actually cut it from here let's go close the main design let's go for the view product so here you can see view product and view category okay so let's go for the view product here and here we are going to actually add it so it is a table right we are going to add it here that's it now let's go for the view product and here you can see this is the search option so i have removed extra space okay so this is the search form id so you don't have to actually give here any id we'll go for the action and we'll give here a uh, route link and here i'm going to say method okay method will be post so from here we have name search here and we have a button here submit button okay so this is the search of uh, a name okay so we have the field name search and actually in the action i'm going to give it out let's go give it out and this is admin director so i will say admin dot then i will actually give it a name route name let's say search product okay and i'm going to copy it let's go to the web.php and here i'm going to add a post route so let's add it this is the post route i'm going to add it here and let's change the name and here i'm going to say post up right you can actually say here post up update product here i'm going to say uh, search and this one will be search product the function name so i'm going to create a function in the admin controller let's go admin controller http controller then admin controller here we are going to create a function so let's go 
public function the function name and our method is post and we are getting actually a value from the field so we'll say request dollar request here i'm going to say dollar request but at first actually we have to find uh you know from the product table right so we have a model here product we are going to copy this model and we'll paste it here so i will say dollar product okay equal to product colon colon fire statement okay and we have to actually say get but here we will not use get because we have actually shown uh, all the things as pagination right here you can see pagination if i go to the browser here you can see pagination right so we are going to actually say here paginate not get it will be paginator paginate okay paginate and here i'm going to say let's say two because we are actually showing here two value in every single page right okay so here uh, we'll now give the condition we are actually getting uh, i mean uh, receiving the you know search result right from the field here you can see uh, from the field we are actually getting the search result if i go to the div here you can see so it has a name search so we are going to actually make it i mean we are going to mention it here okay through the request variable okay so now here i will actually go here i will say uh, we'll actually go for the product table here you can see we have product title so i'm going to copy it and i'm going to say higher product title comma like we are using here like right so i'll say like then i'll say comma the search result right search from dollar request then search right but before that we have to actually use you know person sign so what i'm going to do i'm going to actually use here person i'll say dot for the concatenating uh, more two or more string okay so we say dot and once again person so this percentage will be inside single quotation that's it and now we'll find the result and we'll show it i mean return it and show it in the view product okay and here i will say return view we'll actually say admin dot view product right and i'll actually uh, compact the results i will say compact the result will be products and we'll go there and we have already the for each loop here with same name right products now let's check if it is working perfectly let's go there refresh now i'll actually load it and now let's say i want to search through let's say description so here you can see there is no such a description so i'm going to actually search through uh, okay so we cannot actually search through description right because i have mentioned here title you can see i have mentioned here title product title right so if you want to search through product description and uh, you can see that we have product category also then every single time you have to actually add one more uh, higher condition let's go for the title at first uh let's check the title so here you can see we have test two right i'm going to actually copy it and we'll search it let's check how it look like so i'm going to reload this and here i'm going to paste the uh, result and now i will search for it okay so the mistake is for what mm, for this form here you can see there is no csrf token so i'm going to add here csrf token let's go there search it we have to refresh it then i will say test to search here you can see the title matching right so it's showing the result okay and that's it now let's say i want to search nothing you can see it's showing the default okay if i say t-shirt let's say t-shirt it should show the first one here you can see so now let's go for the post description and category 
So let's go to the admin controller and here you can see we have Hoya, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually add from here, okay? We'll show it later. But before that, we are going to add more higher condition. So let's go add more higher condition and that is or fire or fire. And here I'm going to actually copy this. Okay. And this one would be product details, right? Let's go check. Sorry, product description. So I'm going to go there. And let's say here product description, like the request. And here I'm going to add all fire. So let's copy the whole thing and paste it here. And it will be uh, product categories, let's say. So let's go product category. Here we'll say product category. Now, if we search for anything, it will show for i mean it will search for title description and product categories okay so let's go and uh, let's go back to the second page syntax error okay so we, we got the error uh, we have to actually use here this sign okay uh, we have to use this sign for the or okay I can actually use this sign here. I mean here, okay. That's it. Now it will work. Let's go back. Now get uh, get method is not supported for the route source. Okay, so we got an error here. So what I have to do? We have to actually go for the web.php and here uh this is so this is the post method right here you can see our uh, div was post method post right still uh, it's showing error so maybe we can actually um, and at the same time actually we are fetching the data as get route right here you can see in the get route um, we can actually uh i mean we we are we are actually uh you know here you can see this is the get route for the view product right so it's uh you know it's a bit problematic uh, so here we can actually say any okay i mean any route get or post no problem okay so let's go now we can actually go to the second page here you can see it's showing properly if i go to the first page it's showing properly if i say let's say description if i search here you can see description and de i mean i have searched uh, through de right so it's showing the dependency also i mean dependable also now uh, let's go search and now let's say i want to go to the second page and it's working perfectly right you just have to actually mention here any get or post any method okay i mean any yeah any method so here um we are actually uh, our 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 uh, you know search is working perfectly right so this is the test ctz and here you can see there is no such a category so we are going to actually search through test ctz and search it and here you can see it's showing the perfect result right so title description and product category is also working perfectly so so you can see this is the query just a normal query like query my sql we just have to actually add it that's it simple search option okay I hope this video helps you a lot. Uh, if so, please make sure to give a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Please do comment. Yeah, thank you so much for watching.